Hey guys, so I'm here in Bamboo Studio and I just wanted to show you a little technique for setting up specifications for individual models. Let's say you are printing a test dog and you're just not sure what kind of infill would be best for this test dog so you want to try a couple of different settings. For example, let's say you have to make a hundred of these test dogs and you want to check out various infill percentages to find out how little you can get away with and still have a successful, acceptable, strong enough print. Rather than printing one at a time with individual percentage settings, you can go ahead and go over here to Process and click on Objects. Here you will see your three different STL files. Click on one of them, go to Strength, and for example, set your infill to five. Click on the next one, go to strength, set your infill to 10. Go to the next one, go to strength, set your infill to 25. Now you have one test dog at five, one test dog at 10, one test dog at 25. Let's say you wanna know, can this nose print without support? Well, we can leave these two without support and print the third one with support. So now you've got two without support, one with support. Slice it up. And here you will see one doggo with supports, two without, one with five, one with 10, one with 15 in fail. Different settings for individual models on one plate. There are many ways you can utilize this while optimizing models and doing test prints. For example, Z-seam placement, wall thickness, infill, supports, or even brim and no brim. Let me know how you take advantage of this setting in Bamboo Studio in the comments below. That's all I've got for you today. I'm Greg Adventure your instructor on 3drundown.com and setting individual settings for individual models in Bamboo Studio was today's adventure.